there's a river monster for you. Welcome to another video. We're getting ready to uh, head down to the Great Miami River. I'm gonna do a little carp fishing, Hamilton Fairfield area of Ohio. Should be a good trip. I got a few different baits, gonna use corn, brought some wax worms. If we can get into some shad or something like that, I'm definitely gonna be looking to uh, throw one out for catfish too. Uh, gonna be mainly bottom fishing today. So I got a couple of nice, nice little holes that I found. Uh, one of them I really favor. It's been been real good to me over the years, so I'm hoping that it will uh, will continue to be good to me. We got a got a light rain today, probably about mid 50s. Uh, got a rain day from work, so what better way to spend it than on the on the water? So let's uh, let's go see if we can catch some carp. Right, here we are at one of my favorite spots. I keep it pretty simple. I use a just using a weight this time that I found actually off of a. Uh, cast net that someone had left down at the river so i cut it off i like to use these for when fishing the bottom carp catfish uh they get tangled in the rocks sometimes but honestly it's they're free and it's not usually that big of a hassle and then with my hook i use this just a corn filled hook i like to fish around this creek here where they they like to congregate we get a little bit of rain they tend to congregate up in these creeks so let's see hopefully we'll have some good luck today Not really casting out very very deep i know they're kind of up in these creek area so i've already seen a few when i walked up on the spot so we're going to stay fairly close to the bank if we don't catch anything we'll go try a little bit deeper here's another thing i like about this spot no need for a pole holder got our first fish of the day on nice little decent corp looks like a decent corp putting up a little fight now here's the downfall where you don't bring a net with you it kind of sucks it is what it is and we make do and we do all right Nice. Nice. Get this guy back in the water. See ya. These are the types of hooks I like to use. Um, just really seems to always have a good hookup ratio. Got another one on right after that one. This one feels like it might be a little better size. As you can see, I have to, damn, haven't even put my pole back on. I was baiting the other pole up when this rod went down. Let's see what we got. It's feeling like a stronger fish. Definitely feeling like a stronger fish, but I've been disappointed before. Uh, about the same, probably the same goddamn fish. I don't know. Definitely a feisty one today. Uh, actually, smaller. It looks like. I guess that other one was just lazier. Uh, he's definitely. A Trying to run a hook through my hand, ain't he? That's what I like doing. I like fishing these creeks. You get a little bit of rain, you start catching these fish. These carp and cats and other types of fish like to move up in these, these creeks when it starts raining. Get out of the current. Sometimes it can make for easy pickings. got another fish on this as I'm telling you man it's what happens when you get up in these creeks prime conditions <clears throat> and these carp are just flocked to these creeks now here's an issue where we try to keep your fish off your other line now granted I'm not catching any monsters they're all you know a few pounds but hey you know, I'll take it man it beats sitting at home on the couch that's for sure Luckily, when you got bigger test line, you can also pull them in like this. So, makes it a little easier when they're going to get floppy on you. Start flopping around on you. 
simple setup nice looking fish just simple rig you don't need nothing fancy and corn I mean pretty much everybody's got corn in their fridge don't they cupboard fridge wherever you store it it's there what I'm doing here is it's probably not showing up real well on the camera but right out there is where the sand there's a pretty decent drop off right out there you could if you were here you could see the sand line and those fish are just staging up right where that sand line right at that drop off I'm tossing right next to that drop off and then I'm also working this other pole right above the drop off but from what I can tell now they definitely seem to be staged right off the drop off right now we got another one on I'm telling you now this is some carp fishing at its finest right here we're not catching giants but we're definitely catching numbers man this is definitely the best day of the 2018 I've had so far this year this is unbelievable and it's not I mean the river's not even that flooded nah, this pole I gotta be a little more careful on. I'm only fishing with 10 pound test you spill your bait all over the place but a nice fish nonetheless a little dirt in his eye a little dirt in his eye let's let this guy go see you next time and we definitely got phone calls coming in and we got fish and this one feels like it could be a bigger fish I don't know what side to take him on because we got this damn other pole in the water and who knows, I'll probably end up getting a bite on that one too. Yeah. Not the same as what we've been getting, but I'm telling you, these fish are fighters. They are fighting. No doubt about that. This is about number six, I think. Number five, number six, I don't know. I think I lost count. Oh, when we... Go home, my friend, go home. So I've uh, just went to hook a fish and the line broke. I only had 10 pound test on that other on that other pole but it's one of the things when you're when you're fishing the river and it's raining and you got some water moving it starts pushing logs like this and I've already been getting snagged right over here uh, right off the drop off there where it's the currents push some logs and some sticks over there so I switched it down to one pole and I'm gonna try to sw try to fish it more on top of the above the drop off now hopefully we get less snags to getting a little bit of rain so I went ahead and built a little shelter here because I'm not in the mood to go home yet so here is the little bushcraft shelter I put together uh, it's only camouflage netting so it's not a full tarp keeping me totally dry but you know it's keeping the majority of it. it's just a misty rain so it's actually keeping me fairly dry so I don't know it's it's an idea if you can you can use next time you go out and there's a chance of rain heading back to the house I put in about three four hours down at the river court was Corn was definitely the, the ticket today. Uh, another bait I like to use this time of year is night crawlers. Um, you get a bonus catfish out of it. Sometimes you never really know what you're going to catch with a night crawler, but I do have a lot of luck with carp on the night crawlers. So I don't know, light on and off light rain, fish in the mouth of a creek that fed into the river. They were right there, just like I expected. They were holding off right at the drop off and were moving in into the creek a little ways as the water was rising um, the only issue I had was after a few hours of fishing the current seemed to be picking up and also the the, uh, st the sticks were washing up onto the, the sand and everything else it was caught, starting to cause a lot of snags so uh, that's the only downfall to fishing some of those areas but I can't complain if you get there at the right time like I did today it definitely pays off